So just starting off, I'm Scott from South Florida Insider, and I'm here with... This is Bunny from Rabbit in the Moon. And so far, Winter Music Conference, another year, but a totally different production this year. How do you feel everything went uh, last night? Uh, I, I thought it was pretty sexy, you know, it, to be able to come out and, uh, you know, play to our really hardcore fan base. You know, it, it, Florida's always given us love, and playing, playing all over the world, I, I still love coming home, you know. How does it feel, though, to be able to have, like, as warm of a reception, even knowing you're trying something completely different than anything anybody's really ever saw? Well, I mean, that's what what gets me off as an artist is doing doing something that hasn't been done and, you know, trying to take things to that next level. And, yeah. you, and you know, everybody seems to appreciate, I mean, every year everybody knows you guys are going to bring it, so... It's it's all about taking chances, you know. If you, it, nothing, if if you don't stick it out there and take a chance, it's it's never going to grow. So, and people seem seem to be responding. And for you at like uh, playing solo t- uh, today and stuff, how does it feel? I mean, going from uh, the, kind of this spectacular to being behind the turntable, just a regular set. I, I try to bring the elements of, of that live performance into my DJ sets. Uh, that's kind of what, what it, you know, I've, I've been really enjoying G- DJing and taking it a lot more serious than just, uh, you know, there's a lot of celebrity DJs out there that there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, I did it for years, and just the last three years I've really been um, taking my DJ career a lot more serious and, you know, uh, putting a lot of emphasis on it. And, uh, I, you know, I do live vocals in in my sets and, and try trying to interact with the audience like the same way I do when we do live shows. And can you tell anybody about uh, the double album uh, just being released soon? Uh, well, I'd, actually, the, what, the next release is I'm Your Drug, uh, which we got mixes from uh, Quiver, Hernan Cantaneo, Loops of Fury, uh, Rogue Element, uh, uh, Trent Cantrell. Uh, there will be a lot more as well. And that will be up in April on B-Port. That's, that's the next big release. Uh, and then, uh, you know, we're working on a double album. And any other projects tying in, podcasts, or anything you're doing, MySpace, your own site, releasing some stuff? Uh, I mean, we're, we're just focusing on finishing music, man, and, uh, you know, giving people what they've been waiting for. And where are you going to be taking a tour go- across North America, going anywhere else? Or uh, I mean, we're always touring, man. It's, it's a year-round thing. It's, you know... There, there aren't. There's, there's only one rabbit in the moon, and it, you know, it's. Everybody keeps telling me someone's gonna, you know, take your idea and and to to a, a different place, and, and you know, it, it's. 17 years later, 18 years later, and we're still banging away. So, but well, we can still expect to see you around Florida in the coming year. Oh yeah, I think we're doing uh, the next thing in in this area is Fort Lauderdale. We're doing Fourth of July at uh, Revolution. Nice. Yeah. And a- anything else uh, coming out with you, maybe on, on solo or with Rabbit in the Moon, though? Any videos, anything crazy? Uh, I, I mean, like, like we're at, at one point we'll release all this 3D uh, content, you know, for people to freak out at home, you know. So everybody's got to have their 3D glasses ready? Yeah. Hopefully kept their shades from last night. <laughs> yeah. And uh, really, that that's about it. If you got anything else you want to mention uh, for the fans. Yeah, man. I just thank you for your support. And, uh, you know, get that on your drug. Sounds good. Thanks a lot. Man. All right. Bye.